My wife has no sex drive due to her depression medication. We make it work because I love her and will support her as long as I draw breath. People ask Reddit. Couples in loving relationships who rarely have sex, how do you make it work? We both have low libido, for different reasons but it works out to make us compatible. We find more value in the amount of time we spend together versus what we're specifically doing. We cuddle and watch a lot of TV together, and we have great independent lives separate from each other. I think you need enough of a life separate from your partner as you do with them, to still have things to talk about at the end of the day. Communication drying up is worse than the sex life being stale in my opinion. Reply I think my partner and I have fairly normal libidos, but we definitely value having independent lives and keeping the rest of the relationship strong than making sure we have sex every day. I really resonate with that last sentence. Agreed. Sex life can experience ebb and flow whereas in my experience, communication needs to remain consistent. There's nothing I won't disclose to my so and she's the same way. We're in a partnership, not a competition. If for some reason one or both of us were no longer able to have physical sex with the other, I still believe our relationship would last, unlike that of people who base their relationships worth on their sex lives. Just my two cents. My wife has no sex drive due to her depression medication. We make it work because I love her and will support her as long as I draw breath. Reply. This is beautiful. She's lucky to have you. Same situation we've been married for 21 years now. Can't say it's always easy but I love her so I deal with it. I've had sex twice since I was 19 when we met and I'm now 51, my libido is rampant but our relationship is more important. Reply. So you've had sex two times in total, in the last 21 years? I am genuinely curious about how you feel about that, if you don't mind elaborating a bit. Answer. Actually 32 years. My wife has epilepsy and depression so takes a shitload of meds and her being well and healthy is far more important than sex. It's obviously not easy but by the time I realized it wasn't going to change I was also too committed to our relationship to let that one thing ruin it, even if it is a massive one thing. In every other aspect we get on brilliantly and are best friends and even when we hit a rocky patch a few years back and separated I still didn't persuade sex with anyone else as it would have felt just wrong. Now we are back together and stronger than ever I'm glad I didn't. We have had couples therapy but it didn't help and even the odd occasion that she feels like she wants to try it's just too painful so we don't. Although I always make sure if she is frisky she gets off. Thank God for the internet and free porn, was much harder back in the dark ages. I have been depressed before about it but I'm kinda used to now. Can't see things changing now menopause is hitting either. Completely naive question but is your wife physically unable to have sex or just disinterested? I'm not a huge fan of giving my wife massages, but I do it multiple times a month because she has a sore back and really love the feeling of having her shoulders massaged. Isn't sex the same thing in this situation? Answer. It's a bit of both, very painful and almost no interest. Vicious circle really though. Because of our schedules, it's almost exactly like that scene in Dick and Jane. How's your Wednesday looking next week? Got some time to take the bone train to pound town, sweetie? I have a training call ending at 5 p.m. Is after dinner okay? Reply. This was so strange to me when a friend of mine told me that they have a sex calendar. Literally a fucking Google calendar where his girlfriend put in sex appointments and he just had to accept or decline them. It's not even for the purpose of becoming pregnant. It doesn't sound too romantic but it is kind of like scheduling a date night. My husband and I do this too since his schedule is very busy. If you don't make sex a priority you will not find time to do it. I understand this 100%. It just sounded so stupid when he first told me this. But it only makes sense the more I think about it. Been together for 8 years now and at some point it just dialed down lots, which is okay. We love each other, we spend every day together. We enjoy each other's company and sex at some point just became less important than spending time together and cuddling in bed. We still have sex, we still fool around but it's no longer the daily occurrence slash once we had when we started dating. We were basically FWB for years before we actually started dating so it's technically way more than 8 years. We just work together with or without lots of sex. Reply? Same here. 6 years in a relationship. 
We are so busy we are happy if we can do it once or twice a week. But we spend a lot of time together and are very affectionate. Reply. So, once or twice a week is less than when you were first together. So relative to your early relationship it's not a lot of sex. But is once or twice a week the same or more than what you were getting before you met her? In my case, once or twice a week is still so much higher, on average, than what I was struggling to get while casually dating previous to my wife and I starting a relationship. We've been married for a decade and together for 12 years and I'd never want to go back to hustling in the dating pool. We have two very young kids. Just trying to survive on three hours of sleep a night. Neither one is rested enough for sex at the moment. And that's okay. Reply. One kid is doing this to us. The spirit is willing on both ends, but the flesh is too exhausted. Get yourself a second one. We'll crush the spirit as well. No regrets, though. My second is hitting a year tomorrow and I feel this comment in my crushed spirit lol. Reply. We have two kids. For each one, there was a period of roughly 16 months with almost no sex whatsoever. Before slash after birth, zero sex drive, her and high discomfort during pregnancy, sex was out for most of it. After birth, zero sex drive, her, super tired all the time, and apparently some hormonal thing about making breast milk that causes the vagina to become drier than the Sahara. Even with massive amounts of lube she complained of intense razor blade-like pain. I don't think she was faking that. Sex is finally back on the menu now that breastfeeding is over. You read it here young guns, having very young kids equals no sex. I was excited to try to impregnate. I had heard of many couples struggling for months or years without getting pregnant. I was like, daily sex? Sounds pretty great. But apparently we are super fertile because each time the trying period was about a couple weeks. Been married for 35 plus years. Haven't had sex in almost a decade. I like to joke that I've done without for so long that I'm a born again virgin. The fact is that I got seriously ill, lost a ton of weight and endure a lot of pain. I want sex very much, but husband is afraid he's going to hurt me which is possible, I'm pretty fragile, physically. The thing is, I've spent the last three decades plus with husband and our little family as the anchor of my life. He gives me hope, he gives me joy, he gives me strength. I have done my very best to give him the same things back, threefold. Sometimes I even succeed. Just because I'm not also getting a good planking twice a week doesn't mean I still don't want to receive or give back all that joy, hope and strength. We do what we've always done, Love each other as hard as we can, try to take care of one another, support each other. We just don't get naked to do it. Turns out not all relationships are based on having sex. Welcome to adulthood. Reply. I mean, we have relationships with everyone in our lives, that's what relationships means. They're not all sexual, for example relationships with friends and family, they really shouldn't be sexual guys. But if you're in a romantic relationship, you can be forgiven for wanting there to be a sexual element to that relationship. It's a need that if neglected can lead to not feeling fulfilled. While many couples do have sex light relationships, it really is different strokes, and dealing with a partner whose libido isn't the same as yours can be stressful in both directions especially if they used to be aligned. So if op needs some adives or understanding in that area, it isn't really fair to say adult up because adult relationships can vary between a lot of sex to none. Many users' parents are probably having more sex than they are, and they are arguably more adult. Yeah guys, think about that. Think about it. Thank you for listening to another B-Town Reddit Stories episode. Hit the subscribe button and check out our channel for more stories. Let us know your opinion about this topic in the comments.